guys, it's Bella's here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my new Hanazuki character reference sheet. So I would like to give you guys a quick rundown of any differences you may see with other videos with other characters. So as you can see, Hanazuki already has herself a sketch that was made in real life, so I'm already inking. And the reason because of this is because I already made a speed paint of her where I showed references of her other designs I created that are on the channel. And you can see me making a sketch for her digitally. Well, I wasn't completely satisfied with her design. And that's why I'm remaking it now. And I decided to make it on pencil and paper to make it the absolute best. Especially since I struggle with drawing characters with weight on them and etc. So with other characters you may see like at the top the references for their past character designs and you'll see me make the sketch digitally. You'll also see that at the end you'll actually see me add the information about them instead of copying pasting it from the last speed paint that I made of them. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, I am starting to do the coloring. So first I color her entire body so I won't have any of those annoying white marks where the paint bucket didn't completely get all the space and color the entire thing. So I decided to put that base layer, which is your skin color, down first. And next I'll start on the eyes. So, in past speed paints of her, if you've seen them, you will be able to see that I have made her eyes like red, orange, green, blue, and it's just a complete mess because all those characters, all those colors clash. So, I decided to give her whitish gray eyes and just give her a reflection of rainbow to give her like a rainbow eyed kind of look without actually having to make her eyes rainbow. With her hair, I also decided to make it more vibrant, lighter, pastel color of pink, since I don't want it to clash with the rest of her outfit. In past videos, I've given her a crop top with shorts and a short sleeve shirt with a skirt. And I just didn't think that would be suitable outfits for working the kitchen all the time. So I gave her a short sleeve shirt with leggings and an apron that she wears full time. So I made her shirt a pastel vibrant orange color so it wouldn't clash with her leggings or her hair too much. And I made her leggings white with rainbow stripes on them so they match her eyes and so it represents her bouncy, bubbly, bright personality that she has most of the time. As for her apron, I decided that it was going to be white with pink trimming because pink is her favorite color. I also decided that for the shoes there would be the same orange color as her shirt and she has a cooking hat hair clip in her hair to hold up any hair that could get loose in her face. So you may be wondering why she has an assortment of gloves and charms and bracelets all over her hands and fingers. Well the reason is that she doesn't actually wear them while she's cooking. She only wears them around the house or at school or other places where she's not cooking. She takes them off before she starts. That way nothing will fall into the food she may be working on. I made them rainbow colored. I accessorized them with gray, gold, and silver. Happy 
here you may see me doing some extra shading and you may see me starting to color the lines to make the speed paint look a lot better. You also may see um, a bunch of information pop up on the screen and the reason being is that I got that from the previous speed paint I made of her. That was supposed to be this video but I didn't like it so I remade it. So, instead of remaking the entire thing over again, I just took it from that speed paint and put it in this one. Because no information about her changed, just the way I drew her did. So, without further ado, here is the final product. She is finished.